We're here at Fish Conservatory today in Pittsburgh with Romero the Corpse Flower, who is officially in bloom. Romero, uh, as we affectionately call him, as an homage to George Romero, the filmmaker who's sort of a great part of Pittsburgh culture, he only blooms for 12 to 48 hours once every three to seven years. Um, so it's a very special event when he blooms, and when he does, he emits this stench that smells like rotting flesh, and that is why he's called the corpse flower. <laughs> The function of the smell is actually very interesting. Um, Romero is pollinated by bugs like flies and beetles, and these are insects that are very attracted to rotting flesh and actually do lay their eggs on, you know, rotting meat and rotting flesh. And so when he emits this smell, all of his pollinators think that it is real flesh and they will come to him and pollinate him. So there is a scientific reason that he smells that way. <laughs> I don't smell anything at all. You haven't smelled any 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 part you walk around it? You no, I haven't been able to detect it yet. I haven't given up though. Some really bad cabbage um, that's been left in the garbage and it's really hot in the summer right before the garbage men come to take it maybe. Yeah, it's very, very strong, and I've, I've been told that this time um, it's an even stronger smell than it was last time he bloomed in 2013. It's really pungent. So the real reason that he was able to bloom so quickly is just because he was able to store enough energy in order to do it in only three years. In order to get the energy to bloom, the corpse flower has to go through a different stage of life called the leaf stage, and that is the stage that Barbara, his cousin, is in right now, and she is this very tall, leafy structure that you see next to Romero. And when Romero was in that stage, he gathered up a lot of energy from the sunlight and he stored all of that energy and he bloomed. Originally, the corpse flower is from the rainforests of Sumatra, Indonesia. And he is listed on the, um, on the red list uh, right now as a vulnerable species. So he, there really aren't that many left of him. And one of the things that Phipps wants to do, you know, while we have Romero, is study him and try to figure out some patterns of growth and, and a little bit more about him and what makes him so unique. And a great part of putting him on display when he blooms is that the public gets to come in and they get to be educated as well about this amazing, remarkable plant that unfortunately is vulnerable in the wild.